Man, it's a beautiful day out here, Dweeb. I can't lie to you. Yes, and it was a great idea to come out here to the beach. I mean, we are near the water, and I couldn't tell if we were smelling amphibians or your underwear, but... Dweeb, you know what? I'm not gonna let you ruin my day. There is nothing in the world that could ruin my day. Sin, you may want to reconsider that. One, I just saw the ex that you've been ducking for child support. She, yeah, she's on this beach with us. And two, uh, can you look up for a second? Look up? What are you talking about, now? What the fuck is that? Do we what beach are we at again? Uh, right here it's called uh Paradise Island. We let me see your phone, nigga. We this is Paradise, nigga. Nick, you brought us to the rumbling. What the fuck is a rumbling? Well, these colossal titans literally walk two miles per hour, nigga. So we have all the time in the world. Did you bring drinks, nigga? This is gonna take a while to explain. All right, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was kind of indecisive on if I wanted to do an Attack on Titan video or not. Like, I really didn't know because I ain't gonna lie. I did like a rewind. I did a hood review of Attack on Titan season one a long time ago. It didn't do well, but I think that's because people were super hype about what is happening currently. So, uh, yeah, I did read the manga and I caught all the way up, but I said, you know what? Let me go through and look at the anime and see what MAPPA has done. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. I was kind of surprised by what I saw because, bro, there's not only a psychopath in Aaron Jaeger here, but we also have a trick shot and a phase jab, nade shot, shooting ass, bitch. Gabby. Oh my god, yo, the stuff that Gabby did in this season. Oh my god. We're gonna talk about everything that happened in this final season. Well, not every single thing, but the, the, the most important stuff that happened with Aaron and Gabby because they're, they're the most important characters to me right now. I ain't gonna lie. And we gonna talk about my name Levi a little bit because you know he the goat. So our story starts with our favorite psychopath, Aaron. Jaeger. Now, I'm going to skip past like the first like four, five, six episodes of the final season because a lot of that stuff was just like kind of rehashing things that we already knew and like kind of building us up for new stuff, bro. No, nobody cares about that. Like, uh, fuck all that. But we're going to start from when this psychopath ass, this demented ass Aaron Jaeger had this little kid Falco sending postcards back to his comrades. Oh my God, bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. This man, Aaron Jaeger, the entire time, yo, he's acting like he's some hurt veteran oh my mind the ptsd that i've been going through man is out here acting like lieutenant dan from forrest gump bro. he got the missing leg and everything been telling this kid falco to send these motherfucking postcards back to his peoples bro yeah it was his family all right his comrades that he was staging a coup with this man aaron yeager is not to be trusted bro he the type of kid to be in elementary school and pass a girl a note to be like do you like me yes or no she'll say yes and then they'll be like oh that was for the girl next to you this man is not to be trusted so as this Tiber family head guy is making this big grand speech on this stage, I'm going to translate that for y'all real quick. He was like, <clears throat> hey, yo, Marley is what the f it is it's your man big tiber in the building hey man just wanted to give a no, shout out to my man big theo you know what i'm saying i see you dog you feel me we out here hey the tiber family i'm gonna keep it all the way clean with y'all bro we just as dirty as the audience that we talking about bro like honestly i shouldn't even be up here talking to y'all bro like the shit that i've been doing is literally the same up shit that they've been doing like we, we know better than them you feel me? we just were smart enough to make a deal with the king so i ain't gonna hold y'all but anyways y'all don't want to hold up y'all time and shit. we basically gotta stop what's going on you feel me like we got to get rid of the Eldian threat parodies island and all that we need to blow them up i don't know what we're gonna do nuke them all that shit. but also we've been lying to y'all the whole time about like the real history of the world uh you feel me whole time the king was really boost in mid speech this man aaron yeager turns into the attack titan bro he's down here in this basement with reiner and this kid falco bro they down there this man reiner first of all this man reiner tried to smoke himself bro can we talk about how he tried to hit himself in the head with the yosemite sam gun bro try to hit himself in the head with a double barrel bro said f all that and put a ksg to his face i mean he didn't really do it and all that he pulled the gun out of his mouth first off how you put that big barrel in your mouth like that yo reiner pause on that like i'm just saying you better close that mouth you feel me but he's down here talking to reiner bro this man reiner is scared to death bro because he knows that at any moment this man aaron yeager could release his hand that blood will touch that spot and he's gonna turn to this attack titan bro and as his speech is going on he goes to reach and shake this reiner's hand and i was like oh no reiner don't do it Nick. he shook this hand yo and this man aaron popped straight up now i ain't gonna lie when aaron came up here i'm like okay aaron's a little different now like this is not like old 14 year old aaron the one that's a bitch he was crying with his mom got eight you know like talking about i'm a killer the titan this is not that aaron no this is a cold stone cold killer this is heartless bro he has an ice box where his heart used to be i'm so cold i'm so cold this nigga popped up here and I knew he was gonna be different, bro. 
and then oh my god editor please cue the minutes of music for me one time bro because we finally get to see the last titan that we had never seen before bro the mother warhammer titan oh my god bro the warhammer titan is a difference first off the warhammer titan don't got no controlling him and it's nate bro this is not no flesh gundam bro the warhammer titan is controlled by a titan shifter underground it's connected via the spinal cord to a hardest diamond cocoon y'all know the thing that annie's in toucan sam looking ass bitch. the sailboat nose ass bitch. uh mrs foul from me ah! face ass bitch. the one that's in there bro that hard ass cocoon first off they're in that bro and secondly they can use hardening and create literally anything out of the ground at any point this man aaron goes to mix it up with the warhammer titan and literally gets a spike through his body they impaled this nigga. bro they turned this man into a titan shish kebab literally put this on a stick turn this into a pack off the early I started getting hit with the mario hammer after this bro it looked like somebody picked up a super smash brothers hammer bro you know the music they be playing smacking the shit out of him with this hammer i don't know if this bitch was playing an arcade game or whack-a-mole bro but she was smacking the shit out of this nigga. So, like she was trying to tenderize me with that thing <laughs> now at this moment yo this man is impaled on the spike and he's about to die bro the tiber family titan the warhammer titan says you got any last words bitch ass nigga? and this man aaron yeager was like <sighs> mikasa nigga, is either now or never nigga. and then our favorite butch lesbian popped up our favorite bob cut our favorite tomboy me casa ackerman shows up to save the day now there's going to be two little segments that i do in this video one is going to be called the gabby show when it has a special guest of falco at times another one is going to be called connie shenanigans we're going to get the connie shenanigans later now. but right now we're going to go to the gabby show let's see what gabby's doing shall we so gabby at this point was trying to find any way to get to the smoke bro gabby is a black air force ass character i do not care what y'all say i don't know y'all like you feel me aaron they do nothing wrong i know you heard this song fuck gabby fuck gabby you feel me that song and all i know y'all heard that no gabby is a different type of bitch bro this gabby is about all smoke she wants to smoke his eye and she be putting this in packs bro shorty gabby is looking for the smoke bro runs into these soldiers they're grabbing her like little girl what are you doing gabby gabby stop as soon as this happens sasha is on top with a motherfucking sniper rifle looking like nade shot hits them with the clean stiffies hit these niggas with two no scopes bro i said this nigga sasha's different gabby made straight eye contact with sasha at this point oh remember that bro because that's ironic as hell i ain't gonna lie anyways that's enough of the gabby show back to this nigga aaron so this nigga aaron oh my god this nigga aaron have found the titan finally under the stage yo and he was about to eat it and then the jaw titan came through oh my god bro this is not how ymir's titan was bro oh my lordy 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 y'all thought ymir's titan a little dancer that was fire and all no 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 the real jaw titan is different first off he has hardening ass jaws bro it's like the armored titan but his just his mouth bro first off his head is immaculate bro like come on i'm just saying the boss but anyways that's not be mixing bro i ain't gonna lie to you bro he was beating the shit out of this man aaron for a little bit he was mixing this this little nigga was break dancing on his face hoo hoo weave 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 think it think it think it jump 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 weep beep beep like he was mickey mock up in this nigga. i ain't gonna lie though my name levi was on his ass though my man big levi done came through oh my god bro man you know every time levi come through it's gonna be a motherfucking smoke parade it's gonna be a motherfucking pack session the pack watch pack watch is an alert when my name levi show up bro because when that nigga going to his berserk mode ain't nobody safe nigga. the beast titan wasn't even safe bro he was about to smoke sleep twice nigga. he was about because he was about to smoke him in the season too but you know levi showing up means a package deal because the beast titan was right behind him this big pearly ass nigga. can we talk about this nigga shape for a second like you know i don't be doing too much roasting in my videos nowadays but i gotta get back to it yo yo yo, yo beast titan please bring your ass to center stage for a minute can we please talk about your big moria built ass looking at nigga? a bowling pin looking at nigga? like bro why is you skinny at the top long arms but you fat at the bottom nigga? What you talking about, nigga? Like one of them new enemies in Elden Ring, nigga, the one with the buzz saws on them, nigga. You big at the bottom, nigga. You look like Bronze on, nigga. Like, what you talking about? A drift blim looking at, nigga. Like, bro, this man is big as shit. A yeti looking at, nigga. Like, god damn. Hey, you hairy as shit, 
But anyways, this man Beast Titan just showed up, bro. Oh my god, bro. This man start throwing rocks at everybody, bro. If you don't get your rock slide looking at, like, bro, why is you throwing rocks? That's all this nigga be doing, bro. I wanted to be in the MLB so bad. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga showed up and got smoked by Levi once again, bro. This nigga big for nothing. Now, at this point, on the other side of the roof, we got the Car Titan fighting the Gene and Sasha. So basically, the Car Titan ain't shit without, you know, help. And they basically got this, like, armor, like, weaponry on top of it. And it's manned by people. Once again, Sasha with the 360 no scopes, bro. She's hitting these shots. Bro, she was punishing them with the bro she is a motherfucking sharpshooter bro can we please oh my god god damn bro it's different they punished the car titan no i'm gonna come all the way clean and gabby is still mad as hell at this point bro once again though the jaw titan started mixing aaron again bro but she got dark bro oh my god this nigga got his legs cut off by mikasa right this nigga aaron grabs this nigga other limbs rips them off and then he used this nigga's jaws to open the war hammer titan bro oh my god bro he used the jaws of the to break the diamond and then he ate the warhammer titan oh my god but at this point yo aaron is just collecting abilities this motherfucker aaron was collecting titan abilities like this nigga thanos was collecting infinity stones motherfucker got the power to harden and create spikes and shit now this nigga out here earthbend this is different he was about to eat the jaw titan too but he got interrupted by reiner bro gabby and falco yelling out the window reiner help help us why wouldn't you help us this nigga reiner's like shut the f up like nigga just let me die damn but fast forward though man oh my god bro at this point bro their whole objective was completed and now they just trying to get away bro so everybody jumps on this battleship they're all partying you feel me they congratulating themselves like yeah we gonna party nigga. you know what the no, no, okay. Like, them niggas is happy as hell, bro. But, oh, my God, bro. We got to go straight back into the Gabby show. Because, oh, my God. But this time on the Gabby show, editor, we're going to cue the minutes some music. Because this nigga Gabby is on pack alert. Bro, Gabby done held on to the top of this fucking battleship. Climbed in it with the sniper ready. And put a 360 scope shot straight into Sasha. Bro, she knocked the potatoes out of the potato. Girl. Bro, she put this bitch to sleep forever but put this bitch in the comatose put this bitch six feet deep yo she is built completely different how do you jump on a airship knowing that there's all enemies up there jump inside of it and then smoke one of the subordinates as soon as you see him it's remembered that she killed them soldiers and smoked her ass at this point bro they start beating these shits out of gabby and falco bro oh yeah falco's here by the way i ain't gonna lie they are mixing these up bro they i've never seen child abuse to this extent ever in my fucking life bro bro if they don't call cps real quick bro, oh my god anyways they end up taking them to zeke and we find out that zeke's been working with these the entire time like zeke and aaron they brothers and shit. i'm like bro i ain't gonna lie i remember reading this in the manga and i was like not my nigga zeke bro this man this bitch ass <sighs> whole time i just want to leave out of smoke this i ain't gonna lie but bro this shorty sasha is a fat ass at heart bro right before she dies you talking about meat me either she was ready to eat something or she was ready to give somebody some mean ass gawk bro i ain't gonna lie now fast forward these is done landed and the only thing of importance that i have to say about gabby and falco is that they escaped these niggas that are living with villagers at this point but we're not here to talk about this back to aaron so this nigga aaron has staged the rebellion because once he gets back they done had this nigga incarcerated bro they done put this nigga under bars I ain't gonna lie hans coming in there talking to him he was talking spicy to hans bro he was like yo i have the founded titan you can't kill me you can't kill zeke you need him I also had a Warhammer Titan. I can make fucking hardening spikes, whatever, wherever I want to. There's nothing that you can do. Nigga. It's Big Aaron. Nigga. I know you feel the Black Air Force energy on me. Like, I could really leave when I want. I was like, oh, this nigga is talking spicy. And he really did, bro. He motherfucking stays a rebellion and left. This is where we get that fly ass scene where he puts the coat on. This motherfucker out here looking like an Abercrombie and Fitch model, American Eagle model looking ass. Nigga. Like, if you don't get your Hollister, motherfucker. And, yo, God damn. Anyways, guys, let's go back to the Gabby show featuring Falco, bro. So these niggas are in a restaurant right now, and there's wine everywhere. Now, I'm looking at this wine, and I'm like, mm, okay. Why they got so much of that, though? Like, and why is they keep, like, pouring it in everybody's cup? Like, everybody in here, like, this 
ain't on the water. Like, niggas on the, niggas on the wine. Like, I ain't gonna lie. So, anyways, Gabby and Falco get found out, bro. This chef tells everybody, the daughter that they befriended, that was the sister of Sasha, finds out Gabby don't smoke Sasha. She mad as hell, bro. She's trying to come kill her. I'm like, oh, my God, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. But this nigga done gave Falco another grown-ass man spinal fluid. We find out that in this wine is Zeke Yeager's spinal fluid. And they've been giving it to these niggas. Oh my god, bro. I swear to god, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. Aaron had the most craziest moment right here, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. We gotta talk about that for a minute, bro. Can, 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 can we talk about that for a second, bro? Cause G <laughs> He was sitting at the table with Armin and Mikasa. He wanted to pull them up to talk to them because at this point, he's done turned on everybody. And I guess he really wanted to push that he's like really switched up on this, bro. He told Mikasa everything that he does is of his own free will because she tried to say that he's being manipulated. He was like, nah, bitch. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna translate this for y'all. He was like, <clears throat> he was like, I ain't gonna hold you like on some real nigga shit. Everything I do is what I do. Like, I don't do nothing for y'all, but I really don't with y'all mikasa i've never with you I, every time i see you i hate you i literally hate you you a slave like you literally only do stuff as an ackerman because you want to protect me because i got royal blood in me like you really weird like on some real shit, you're weird as and your cuts is never hitting like you always talking about like you like me and all that like oh the scarf and all that bro i do not care bro you don't even look fly in that scarf you're a bummy bitch, bro i can get way better bitch bro like yo sasha dead so i can tell y'all i hit that and armin you're soft this boy like like you're soft bro i, I don't f with y'all niggas y'all niggas are whores bro so this man armin get mad he swing on him this man aaron like oh so you want to get a sneak shot off you like yo you know why i never fought you little nigga <laughs> because you a bitch he started what lick it lick it lick it lick it lick it oh my god anyways at this point this man zeke is in the woods talking to levi this man levi don't walked off bro and yo i ain't gonna hold you he had all of these soldiers drinking wine for months bro and then he starts yelling out nigga looked like he was using supersonic as a zoo bat <laughs> literally everybody in these woods turned into fucking titans <sighs> I ain't gonna hold you, bro. This nigga Z started running off, though. He ran off on a plug after that. He was like, yeah, this nigga Levi is never gonna catch me. He on the shoulder of another Titan. But this nigga Levi is different, bro. Oh, my God. This nigga Levi smoked all of his own men. He caught up to Zeke and said, you thought that I wasn't gonna be able to kill my own men? Or do you know where it's big, Levi? Nigga, stop playing. He blew this nigga out with, like, 40 missiles. Bro, he had this man Zeke punishing this nigga, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. And then he was torturing him, bro. Literally just cutting him up, but missing vital organs and so we didn't bleed out. This was acting like Oaken from ranking the Kings. Like, this is different. I ain't gonna hold you, though. The way that Z saved himself was some bullshit. Because that man that hopped in a whole nother Titan, this nigga that hopped in a Titan tummy to save himself. This soft ass nigga, bro. I swear to God, I hate this nigga. Anyways, fuck all that shit. At this point, Reiner Peak and I think it was it Marco? The jaw I'm going to call him jaw I don't remember his name. They show up to save Gabby and Falco. As this is happening, though, this man, Zeke Yeager, is getting reconstructed by Ymir this entire time. Like, he's in this place where, like, the, like, it's uh, where the var the Verth is. Earth, Varth, Earth, sand. There's some sand. This nigga's in the desert. Nigga. He wear crocodile at. Like, this nigga is getting reconstructed. And then we got Aaron versus Reiner. <sighs> Part 4,088. God damn, these niggas don't fall so many goddamn times. Bro, this nigga Aaron got them Diamond Josu arms this time, though. He is not playing, bro. But this man, John and Ryder, was not playing either. They started jumping this nigga, turning him into the fight bag me right in front of my eyes. They started mixing this nigga. Make it, make it, make it. You feel me? That was Ryder's hit because he a big nigga, but the draw titan was hitting him like, make it, make it, make it, make it. You feel me? He's hitting him fast as hell. Bro, they started mixing this nigga. Even the car titan is there shooting this nigga and shit. They even holding this nigga head down, bro. Like, bro, they got their motherfuckers foot on his head and all that nigga started limping i'm like oh they don't beat the motherfucking brakes off this nigga. they turn him into a real paraplegic yo this is also real quick unrelated to the moment but also really funny this is when that one moment where that one shorty that looked just like a big version of armin like literally looked like a, just a tall armin like i forgot shorty name i ain't gonna lie it don't even matter gives him that nasty ass look yo that is a meme of the century bro I, I, I got i just had to i just had to mention that but right now is a great time to go to the gabby show so gabby is finally having a fucking character moment and realizing how fucking dumb she's been this entire time she's like oh i've been just doing the same thing that we've been trying to kill them for this entire time i'm dumb why was i doing this i'm stupid i'm just like, duh anyways at this time aaron got the upper hand again because he hit the reiner and jaw nigga with the spikes of god coming out of the ground he started punching this out of the jaw titan he punched him so much his hand broke but i ain't gonna lie yo this zeke back now down bad laying down hmm, this bitch as hell bro but this aaron done hardened and it jumped out of his titan he starts running and then it happens yo oh my god i bet you're wondering sin why haven't we left the gabby show yet because we're still in the gabby show 
Gabby turned this nigga Aaron into a pack. The first character to kill Aaron, yo, in the story, except for that one Titan in the beginning, I thought killed him, and then he like ended up becoming like uh, Titan. Sh it was weird. I thought the main character died the first episode, but anyways, that's neither near or there. She shot this nigga's head off. Yo, it was so nasty how she did it. It looked like she was hard scoping. I ain't gonna hold you, like you feel me. It wasn't no quick scope, but yo, she shot this nigga's head off. It started spinning like a dreidel. This nigga shot this nigga's head off. Anyway, after this bitch is done being fucking face Jeff for second aaron is dead or he's like in this weird world where ymir is and zeke and zeke is reformed at this point and he's talking to aaron bro and this aaron thought that he could pull a fast one on zeke yo this entire time zeke was like all right now tell ymir you feel me you got the royal blood tell her to, to end eldians make sure they don't have babies anymore this was like i'm not doing that i ain't gonna lie i just needed to make sure i got here you dumbass you thought i was gonna help you stupid goofy ass <sighs> but it didn't even matter bro because this zeke done learned the secrets of everything bro he got royal blood in him so he's controlling your mirror the entire time and this is one of my favorite parts of this a manga series whatever the f you want to talk it happens bro because we get the gaslighting of this aaron this psychopath ass air God, bro so aaron and zeke are going through like memories past memories and things together like these visions whatever you want to call them they end up watching grisha jaeger and everything that's been happening with him so they start off seeing him in the office he's like oh zeke are you there you feel me got daddy issues you said daddy wasn't there So they end up following this nigga, bro, and we find out something disgusting. As we're in the scene where, you know, as we were thought to believe that the attack titan of Grisha Jaeger actually killed Ymir, well, not Ymir, but one of Ymir's ancestors and took the founder titan way back when and then got ate by Aaron, that's not really what happened. He couldn't bring himself to do it because it was a child. But we also find out that the attack titan has a special ability where they can see the future oh my god this is marty mcfly bro this is going back to the future oh my god this bro we find out that aaron had been manipulating grisha this entire time he plans all of this bro literally had been gaslighting everybody this whole time manipulating the situation bro oh my god bro i can't even believe that this was happening bro this man told his dad uh, yeah you remember when they smoked your wife and all that and made you feel me go away from your son you remember that right you know what you're here to do now get in the get in that mode nigga. yo he made the attack titan fight ymir bro i keep calling it ymir bro it's not ymir bro it's like one of this ancestors you know what i meant bro but this the attack titan versus the founder titan of course he punishes this bitch and eats her bro i ain't gonna lie mixes her up something crazy eats her like a four course five course meal nigga. smoked everybody in here so finally aaron snapped him out of the visions because this man is holding zeke zeke's like please make it stop they come out bro and this nigga was chained up bro he was chained up zeke's like it don't even matter bro you you, you still chained up and i'm still controlling your mirror this nigga aaron <laughs> He broke his own wrist to get out of these chains. He ripped his wrist off. Oh my God, this is different. So we run up to Ymir and we get this backstory. And we find out yeah, Ymir was, you know, uh, the partner of King Fritz, but she was basically a slave and she ends up falling to a hole and getting this alien spinal thing attached to her. I still don't understand this part, bro. But she gets the power of the founding Titan and the power of Titans. Now she keeps giving birth to all these kids that have her, you know, her lineage, her bloodline. And he does some weird shit. King Fritz, uh, he fed his wife to her kid. Like, bro, this nigga took cannibalism to a whole nother level, bro. That was not motherfucking spam. Nigga. That was, that was Jameer. They were eating her mom. This broke them all up into the different Titans. And then they were like, okay, from now on, you know, your kids, kids eat the mom and her dad or whatever. And they just keep cannibalism, nigga, the cycle. Like, I, I don't know, bro. This nigga Aaron was talking to Jameer, bro, and basically convinced her to give him his powers like you've been waiting 2000 years for somebody to end this let me do it this became the founder the true founder like had the powers of ymir bro this started the rumbling oh my god this is where we get the infamous aaron speech bro and i'm gonna translate that for y'all right now he says <clears throat> yo yo hey y'all can hear me all right straight up um yeah i gotta keep it real with y'all um it's your boy aaron um as y'all probably can see it's a lot of colossal titans outside it's a lot of black air forces walking around and shit. a lot of rumbling outside yeah so i done started the rumbling uh basically how this is gonna work is i'm gonna flatten the entire earth i'm gonna kill everybody we're gonna start over from square one it's kind of like noah's ark you feel me the 40 days of flooding the 40 nights and shit except for like nobody surviving um but i mean if you survive somehow 
it, like good job i guess i don't know i'm about to smoke y'all i'm gonna be good though like regardless you know i'm gonna be alive you know i only got nine years to live because i'm a titan shifter but i'm gonna enjoy the rest of the years that i do have you know what i'm saying um living in luxury pretty much uh, until i do inevitably pass away but inevitably it doesn't matter that i've died because i've already would have turned all y'all niggas into packs i literally at this point would have squished all of y'all i mean y'all got some time because the colossal titans kind of thick bro their legs is kind of big and so they they walk kind of slow but hey man y'all just finna die bro that's basically what i'm telling you so at this point everyone's fighting the titans yo we see commander prixis as a titan and all that oh yeah toucan sam don't woke up the <laughs> sailboat ass nose don't woke up you feel me uh uh, uh. joe swanson's wife don't woke up lois don't woke up like <laughs> big nose annie don't woke up this arm and horny as like <laughs> I smell Annie. Like, it's horny ass nigga anyways. So we learned about Annie, bro. She basically had been abused her entire life by her dad to learn how to fight, bro. And then beat her dad up. Like, the nigga said he was happy because she could kill her enemies finally. I was like, bro, this nigga's different. I ain't gonna lie, Annie's backstory was crazy. Oh, yeah, let, uh, let's go to the adventures of Connie. We're finally at Connie's shenanigans, yo. We have to talk about two Connie moments here, yo. Oh, this nigga Connie took Falco on this adventure real quick. This, this, this walk real quick. Took him to see his mom, right? This nigga connie tried to feed falco to his king mom bro thank god armin was there or then falco would have been put in a fucking pack <sighs> this connie is fucking different i ain't gonna lie then we fast forward a little bit they done invaded this one dock where the jaegerists are at bro it's like armin connie gene you feel me reiner and all of them they all like kind of made this conglomerate this alliance and shit of doomed to fall apart at the beginning let's be honest bro but this connie literally shot this Bro, this nigga army gets shot in his fucking cheeks. This nigga Connie looked his friends dead in their eyes and shot them with hella bullets, extra joints too. Do 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 do. Smoke these niggas. This started the whole uh, the shebang, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Annie and Reiner started scrapping. They mixing with niggas. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was getting smoked, but Annie's hand got blew off, yo. <laughs> Your whole hand came off. But Reiner blocked her and sh you feel me? Them niggas started scrapping. This nigga army is still shot in the mouth, bro. He got two bullet holes in his mouth, looking like Hanayama from Baki and sh mikasa literally mixing everybody up she got a fucking score streak this bitch is about to get a nuke on these niggas harder than she was killing falco finally turned into a titan it look like a fuck yo hey this jaw titan is weird nigga like a mutated bird nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. And to end it all off, bro, my nigga Theo and Magus, they done blew themselves up, bro, to make sure that nobody could follow them in the boat they was in. Yo, rest in peace to them old ass niggas. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas both look like cancer patients. Like, them niggas look sick, bro. They cheeks pushed in and shit. Them niggas is at least pushing 80, like 85. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't talking about highway either. Nigga, I'm talking about the age. Nigga, <laughs> like, I'm just saying. <sighs> Yeah, so anyways, Dweeb, uh, basically the, the entire rumbling is that we're all going to die. So, you know, I don't know if you have any last words or anything you want to say here, but uh, these big ass Black Air Force Colossal Titans are going to squish us and everybody else around us. And that's pretty much going to be it, bro. Yo, son, I ain't even going to lie, bro. I do got a few last words, bro. All right. I feel like I'm going to regret this, but uh, l let me hear him, Dweeb. Let me hear him. <coughs> All right, first off, you know that $20 that I let you borrow that I said don't worry about it? The reason why I said don't worry about it is because I stole $40 back from you the next day. Also, you know the baby mom that's been, you know, you've been ducking for child support? Yeah, I've been f***ing her on the regular. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, also your PS5. You know why it stopped working? Well, when you were asleep, I went and I poured some water on the mother chip because I couldn't get one and I was mad about it. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, you Remember when your mom passed and you were like, oh, I keep taking her to treatment, but like nothing's helping. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Every time I was supposed to take her to treatment, I was just driving her around with me all day and never taking her. I just thought I should tell you all those things, you know, before we die. Are you, are you serious right now? Yeah, un unfortunately. Yo, to I ain't even gonna lie, nigga. You don't even gotta worry about the Colossal Titans or the Rumblers. Well, why? Because I'm gonna fucking kill you myself.